Hi and welcome back. Today we will discuss the most annoying problem with aging recordable DCC tapes. The squealing sound coming from the player, causing dropouts during playback and making it almost impossible to record. Most people think it's a problem coming from the player, but it is always the tape and caused by the stick slip effect coming from dirty and aging felt pads. We will be showing you how to restore the sound by cleaning the felt pad in this video. First, let us listen to what the problem sounds like. According to Wikipedia and this example video done by Giacomo Scuggiarini, I hope I pronounced this right, but his link will be in the description of this video, the stick slip effect can be described as surfaces alternating between sticking to each other and sliding over each other with a corresponding change in the force of friction. Although the animation shows the effect on a belt, you can see what the same effect would be once dirt settles on the already aging felt pad causing friction with the tape, resulting in this squealing sound. According to the engineers that were part of designing the digital compact cassette, the stick slip effect was a problem from day one and made them choose the Chrome BASF videotape for the digital compact cassette. There were two types of felt pads used. On the left, the first generation DCC tape in green and black with a white felt pad, and later on, the second generation DCC tape in blue and black with a brown felt pad. Almost all problems occur with the first generation DCC tape with the white felt pad. In order to clean the felt pad, you slide the metal cover to the side and keep it in position with a piece of masking tape. We use a microscope to make this process a little bit more visible, but you can normally clearly see it with the naked eye as well. Here you can see the dirt on the normally completely white felt pad. First, you loop out the clear leader section from the digital compact cassette. This is safer than doing this with the actual chrome tape. Using a pointy cotton swab and isopropyl cleaning solution, you gently rub the entire felt pad. Some debris will actually stick to the cotton swab, but most of it will be pushed down deeper into the felt pad. Some of the finer top part might stand up like this and has to be removed. This is how it should look like after removal of the debris and while drying. After we loop back the tape into the cassette using the traditional pencil, we wind the entire tape forward and then backwards before playing it. That way the felt pad is nice and smooth again. And finally, the big test. Everything is working fine and no more squealing or dropouts. Over time this problem might come back, so you might have to redo this or consider making a copy if the tape is very important to you. We have not been able to successfully replace the original pad. The interesting thing is although pre-recorded tapes have the white and brown felt pads mixed as well, they do not seem to suffer from the same problems that recordables have. We are not sure if the pads were different but it's most likely the case. We hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.